A, write like science fiction, or B, become cult leaders after writing science fiction, like Scientology. Uh, so, you know, if he's just like, you know, uh, talking about ancient astronauts and shit, then good for him. It's not talking about ancient astronauts. Some of the more uh, fascinating pieces of evidence in South America have come out recently mm -hmm. about these uh, channels and pathways that they've found in the Amazon yeah. that could not have been created any other way but by humans Absolutely. creating irrigation, humans creating, the, 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 like, it appears like grids, like a city grid. Definitely. The Amazon is a colossal mystery, and uh, it's one of the subjects that I explore in depth in America before. First of all, to give some Lord basic figures. Bit, cause, like, it's, it's, picking up, it's picking up everything from the, uh, the speakers. The Amazon Basin is huge. The Amazon Basin is 7 million square kilometers in area. Um, and within it, 5.5 million square kilometers uh, remains almost entirely unstudied by archaeologists. And that's the 5.5 million square kilometers that is still covered by dense rainforest. And to put that into perspective, 5.5 million square kilometers is the size of the entire Indian subcontinent. So oh. it's like saying, we've done world archaeology, but we've just ignored India, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we've done world archaeology, but we've just ignored the Amazon. It's the same, the same argument, five and a half million square kilometers. The view was, again, there was a dogma. There was a preconception. Human beings couldn't have flourished in the Amazon. It's, a, it's not a resource-rich area. The soils are poor. Um, it's a difficult area, challenging to get to very far from the Bering Straits. So the view was that humans hadn't entered the Amazon until about 1,000 years ago. And then gradually, little by little, that view has begun to change. And it's begun to change because of the tragic clearances of the Amazon. Because the Amazon rainforest is literally being cut down and turned into soya bean farms and, uh, and cattle ranches. And in that cutting down process has emerged things that shouldn't be there at all. Uh, for example, evidence that large cities flourished in the Amazon. Enormous cities, which were larger then the, there was a Spanish explorer who went down the Amazon River system in 1541 to 1542. He was the first European to cross the entire length of South America from west to east uh, along the Amazon. He reported seeing incredible cities, advanced arts and crafts, millions of people, a thriving culture. Uh, and a hundred years later, when other Europeans got into the Amazon, they couldn't find these cities. Okay, that's a cap all the way. I'm sorry, but like no Western colonialist has ever fucking benefited the indigenous indigenous population of the areas that they visited as a matter of fact the only thing that they increase is bacterial culture by literally giving them diseases that they had never encountered before which wipes out uh, a gigantic swath of the population i don't know if this is like i don't know who he's talking about specifically but i mean we'll see we'll, we'll see what else he says so they said oh francisco oriana that was his name made it all up it was just a it was just a fantasy and then in the last decade, as the clearances of the Amazon have proceeded, we've begun to see the traces of those cities. What happened was that the Spaniards brought smallpox into the Amazon. Oh, he's smallpox it. devastated the local po Never mind. Okay, he's saying, population he's because there was no immunity to it. There was a massive die-off. The cities were deserted. Within a 50 years, they were completely overgrown by the jungle, and that's why they were not seen by the explorers who came in 100 years later. But now the jungle's being cleared. Those cities are emerging, and we can say that... Uh, a city like London, which had a population of roughly 50,000 in the 16th century, there were cities of that size all over the Amazon, wow. huge numbers of them. And a possible total population of the Amazon that exceeded 20 million people. What? Yes, 20 million. This is the, the latest uh, evidence from the Which Amazon. And then you ask yourself, how did they do like, that? How did they... I mean, there's LIDAR see. mapping. Yeah, uh, look, uh, so this is what someone sent me. Airborne LIDAR for archaeology in Central and South America. Teledon optic sensors map ancient civilizations under the rainforest. It makes sense that if, like, forestation occurred in an area after, like, a gigantic swath of the population fucking got wiped out as a consequence of, like, smallpox and numerous other diseases that these Western colonialists were uh, carrying that the indigenous population had no way of dealing with, uh, that, that does make sense if they, like, if forests grew on top of it. But how incredible is that to think of all of the rivers as canals? I just think it's a really, the more they uncover it, the more I want to learn about it because it seems yeah, I, huge. I don't know how this like uh, is, is, you know, different than what other people say though.
Mm -hmm. But also, I I totally understand. Uh, I mean, ancient civilizations had uh, different ways of building, uh, building like architecture and city planning that are more successful in the way that we still uh, haven't been able to deal with them. Like right. we still have nothing in comparison. Um, what I mean by this is like um, cooling systems, like ancient cooling systems, ancient uh, heating systems. Like these are these are ways that uh, these are ways that ancient civilizations were good, uh, not ancient civilizations, but like civilizations of the past were able to fucking build. Indigenous populations were able to build um, like habitable environments. Obviously, the temperature has changed uh, since then as well. But I'm not saying that they're fucking aliens. I'm just no. saying that, like, we have a tendency to overlook the technological achievements of indigenous populations because we have a tendency to, you know, think that they're barbaric, uh, think that they're wild, think that they're primitive. But in many ways, they have uh, better, uh, better structure in uh and, and better heating cooling systems for example that we still have not been able to replicate or choose not to replicate it's just interesting to rethink history and what we think is true i really want to know more about the library of alexandria and that's something that we'll never really be able to understand but that's a totally different subject <laughs> yeah. yeah joe rogan i'm surprised he didn't bring up you know ivermectin you should have been like hey uh you know why didn't they bring horse paste with them? Like horse dewormer, <laughs> apple flavor. Shit will work real well. Easy solution. Feed 20 million people in the Amazon because it's a fact. Rainforest soils are poor. It's one of the reasons these soya bean farms are a really stupid idea because once you clear the rainforest, the land is largely unfertile and you can't grow stuff on it for very long. So how did they feed all these people? The answer was they invented a soil. And that soil has a name, it's called Terra Preta. Archaeologists refer to it as Amazonian dark earths or Amazonian black earth. It's a man-made soil. It's thousands of years old. It's full of microbes that are not found in adjoining soil. It's based around biochar. Uh, and you can take a handful of 8,000 year old Terra Preta and you- What do I think about pyramids? They're sick. Um, I don't know what else to say about it. I feel like, again, it goes back to like ancient tech that we simply still cannot comprehend. But then again, when you think about it, like we still only have theories as to why planes fly. We know how to make something fly, but we don't know why it flies. Did you know that? There is no mathematical equation that has been able to, uh, that has been able to successfully what? No, it's literally true. Stop fucking question marking me, guys. Can you explain that? Because I don't... We do not know how airplanes fly. Like, we don't have, like... <laughs> okay. Or, sorry, we don't know how they stay in the air, okay? Here you go, Scientific American, chat, you dumb fucks. <laughs> Ask your brother, this is not true. No, dumbass, my brother's the one who fucking told me. On a strictly mathematical level, engineers know how to design planes that will stay aloft, but equations don't explain why aerodynamic lift occurs. There are two competing theories that illuminate the forces and factors of lift. Both are incompetent explanations. Aerodynamicists have recently tried to close the gaps in understanding. Still no consensus exists. My literal aerospace engineer brother is the one who, like, it told me about this. It, that's that is very different than what you said. No, that's when thirty five thousand dickheads who love getting into the hive mind of like dunking on the streamer turn around and try to fucking cope with the reality that like they literally did not know something, thought that I thought that I was completely and wholeheartedly incorrect, <laughs> and now they're turning around to be like, oh well, that's you said something different. No, I didn't, and you didn't know that this existed until this very moment, and you should check yourself before you fucking wreck yourself. Okay. That's a cool photo. There you go. I love that the, the, the some of the dumbasses are still continuing on with the misinformation going, <clears throat> uh, saying that like, oh, well, dude, that's 20 years old. Is it? It's from February 1st, 2020. So why can't we explain why they stay in the air? Um, I mean, they know how to make something stay in the air. They just don't know uh, like 
how to prove it. They can't prove it. Okay. We just know the air and the wings. And this is not like a this is not like a conspiracy for the record for all of you guys in the chat that are saying like this is a conspiracy. It's just one of the um how's that with the left wing Joe Rogan with the smaller audience of frogs? It is so stupid. This is making me so fucking it's like the eel thing, okay? We still don't know how eels reproduce. Eel Did you know electric that? Eels? Like just eels in general. We don't know how they reproduce. We've never viewed it or We've never been able to document how... There's theories on how eels uh, reproduce, but we, we don't still don't know. We don't even know if it's eggs or if they come out as eels. Okay, still. Okay, there's yet another... Another fucking situation where Chad is throwing up question marks. There are theories on them. <laughs> Vigorously tight. Here, it is mostly true that scientists don't know the full reproductive cycles of eels in the wild. The, ca the caveat is that, contrary to claims made on social media, they have been observed reproducing in captivity and their sexual organs have been observed. <laughs> have been observed. So it's mostly fucking true. We literally tracked them to the spawning ground and observed baby eels there. Fuck them. The irony is... The irony is that, like, I literally was on the team. We definitely know how eels reproduce when someone in the chat told me <laughs> that we don't know. And then I fucking did the research on stream. I, like, looked it up and found that, like, no, we literally don't know how fucking eels reproduce in the wild. We have theories, but we don't fully know. And even then, motherfuckers are now turning around once again and shitting on me saying that I'm wrong. <laughs> It's the same fucking chat. EFC. You guys see one cute fucking girl and you <laughs> act out, dude. Please. Okay? Behave. Like, she's not going to be like, oh my god, like, who's that sexy contrarian thinker in the chat? Like, you know, hit my line. Like, my DMs are open, sweaty. That's not going to happen. Sweaty. Okay? I'm, I'm letting you know that, like, that's not going to happen. So just, like, stop fucking behaving in this, like, weird way. You're embarrassing me. In front okay, of my I, guess. Think, I think we need to change the subject. Oh, I yell at chat all the time. Do you? Oh, always. <laughs> like, it's just a constant thing. That, Ooh. Well, it's a daycare. There's a lot of babies in here. And, like, Anything, they... Anytime there's, like, a, a thing that might bring up an alternate viewpoint, I feel like it gets real, real hot in here. Yeah. Yeah, you're abusive towards us. Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Silent Peace 95. Aww. Sometimes for hours, or if it's a house, it can go for weeks. Yeah. We are abuse victims <laughs> around here, but we like it. It's usually how it goes. What is hard to understand about a pyramid? They just use slaves? I don't think... I don't think it's that easy. Less, we can't get into the pyramid thing, because that's like... That's just, there's a lot of, a lot of things going on over there. Okay, let's, well, let's keep you going. You can add it to barren soil, and that soil That's will instantly become fertile. It's, it's highly bad. sought after in the fact, Amazon, and it explains how they fed these people. There was science the in the Amazon. Amazon. How did they create this? Well, this is something that's not understood. It's still not understood by soil experts to this day as to how that was done, but it's one of many intriguing evidences, pieces of evidence of much higher uh, development in the Amazon that it has been given credit for, and of a kind of science in the Amazon. Jamie's got an image of it up there. So this is it? This is Terra Preta, yeah. yeah exactly. Wow. Exactly. And so was that done by burns? Did they use controlled burns? They, they did. They, one way that it was achieved was, uh, was to do wet burning um, of middens. They would, be, they would be burned and smolder. They wouldn't burn Man. fiercely, which just produces Man. charcoal. They would, they would burn and smolder. Um, and and that, what is called biochar, would result. And that's part of the fertility of the soil. But the mystery is the microbial content of this soil, which is completely different from the microbes uh, in neighboring soils, and that remains unexplained. As so, do they, what are the theories? Composting? Some sort of advanced composting? Yes, some sort, of, some sort of advanced composting, but again, what has not been explained wow. is the, is the mi microbial uh, content of these soils. So, there, there, first of all, is an issue... Is it just fucking poop? <laughs> so, they just shat? Like, what if they just shat in the compost? 
virtue of how uh, two things, how large populations get fed in the Amazon and evidence that there was a culture in the Amazon that was... We still don't know 90% of the oceans. Yeah, I know. That, I think about that a lot, almost every yeah. day. My Same. theory, based off of no evidence or science, is that it gets so condensed that it just spills out into space. And that's why we get those what? crazy fucking animals. Go look at an octopus. Oh, dude, don't Go get me Go look started. at a giant squid and tell me that thing isn't from space. Oh, we are in 100% agreement on this. I'm I'm terrified of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, give me the question marks. I'm terrified I'm of the ocean, it. and I do think that octopus are fucking octopi, are like actual literal fucking space freak aliens that want to destroy us. Look at those things. Those things are disturbing. Looking. Yeah, I know. And then people eat Or have them. you seen the one with like the clear translucent head and has four eyes? That thing is crazy. Or the one that was like documented near the fucking uh, oil rig didn't see that one. Oh my god chat chat link the, the link the oil rig one deep sea creatures are disgusting terrifying They're we should so stay cool away from though. them wait i'm gonna try to find this one uh, my chat has a specific community based idea too where they believe that orca civilizations are hiding underwater and they're very smart i believe that i feel like they have meetings okay look at this thing what the fuck is that? What kind it has of fish four, is that? It has eyes down here and it has eyes up here so it can look up. Oh, this is the one. Wait, there's a video of it though. Look at that thing. Hold on, hold on. Look at this video. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look what at how the long. fuck? Yup. You're gonna tell me that that's just a thing that's normally occurring on Earth? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't trust it. These things are not from here. Over 80% of the ocean in, in ocean's entire biomass is one fish species. Wait, really? I feel like you just made that How up. How do we know that if we haven't discovered 90% of it? I bet it tastes good. Dude, this thing would fucking kill your whole family, dude. Yeah, proudly. Yeah, that thing. As an do you believe in mermaids? I don't know if I believe in mermaids, but I do think that some of the ancient lore, there's some truth to it. Because, like what? Because think about being a fisherman out in the seas in those times for months at a time. You're either delusional and seeing crazy shit, yes. or you're actually far enough out there to where you see things that people never are out there long enough to see. I think it's it's column A more than column B. Yeah, probably sun damage to your and, brain. And like, you know, they're, they got like all manner of STDs, okay? Their brains are fucking rotting from that. Right. Uh, a lot they of have, alcohol. They got scurvy, okay? They're drinking a lot. Right. A, a lot of stuff that they are doing to themselves 100% uh, caused them to hallucinate. Right. But what, great why stories. STDs? What do you mean why STDs? They're fucking pirates, dude. They're like butt fucking each other. They're fucking every prostitute they can. Like, you think that? Yeah, you pirates, think pirates are, are just fuck. Uh, isn't that where the the earring on the left side came from? <laughs> <laughs> Hassan can't stop himself. He's at it again. Yes, this is like my new series of of just fucking constantly. Getting cute girls watch Joe Rogan. Um, if I recall, mermaids were actually manatees that were that they were hallucinating as women. Yeah, that makes more sense. I can sense. believe that. Sirens. I think it's just kind of more interesting to think that it's a sexy woman that's trying to get you. You know, it's more fun. Please, that is from Earth. It's just the gigantic. Yeah, a, a lot of the, a lot of the fishes down there get gigantism, right? So uh, because of the because of the pressure, gigantic pressure exerted on them by the ocean is required life to adapt to an extreme environment just think of them as oceans rednecks <laughs> yeah they're hell yeah brother i'm down here that's why i'm next to the oil rig brother i'm trying to suck on your milkshake <laughs> that's what he's doing he's like what's going on here brother coming down to my part of town the mermaids were shape-shifting octopus and the pirates had sex with them okay <laughs> 
blobfish are sick. Anyway, um, the majestic world of dolphins. Lanternfish absorb more CO2 than the entirety of the Amazon forest. It's true. But isn't it also true that... Do you hear this? Do you see this? This what? is some pirate shit that you would vibe with. Some pirates were convinced that wearing an earring would improve or even cure bad eyesight. Read it out loud. Re yell more. Some pirates were convinced that wearing an earring would improve or even cure bad eyesight, as they believed that the precious metals in the earrings possessed magical healing powers. I thought it was to get rid of seasickness. That's also why they wore the eye patch. It's like rock bottom town of SpongeBob. They treat him as second class citizens. Oh yeah. Would I fuck mer pussy like a mermaid? No. I don't think they have pussy. Do they? I, I would suspect that they have to, uh, since it's made up. But also because, you know, I just I wouldn't though, cause like. I'm not into fish. You guys know this. I don't even eat seafood, so. Right, Capable of manipulating the environment in such a way that it could support large populations with the invention of Terra Preta. Secondly, new evidence previously not recognized. The Amazon is basically a garden. The Amazon is a man-made rainforest. Uh, there are certain like trees like right Brazil nut trees or the ice cream bean tree, which are food crops, which are very, very valuable. And they dominate the, uh, the, the tree regime in, in the Amazon. They're what's, what's referred to as hyperdominant species. In other words, people living in the Amazon over thousands of years selected certain trees, which they then cultivated and grew. So the whole thing is not simply a wild, pristine rainforest. It's a very ancient man-made environment. And emerging from that man-made environment, as well as evidence of large cities, large populations, and this mysterious dark earth, are huge geometrical structures. Um, and again, I, I go into this at length in America before because I love this mystery. Mm. We have in the UK structures that are called henges. Um, I, I live in the city of Bath, and about uh, 30 miles away, there's a beautiful site called Avebury, uh, and another more famous site called Stonehenge. And what a henge is, is a... Prob When people first saw these structures, they wondered if they'd been built for defense. But then it became obvious they hadn't been built for defense. Because if you want uh, to, to create a moat, you put it outside your embankment, not inside your embankment. So a henge is an earthwork which consists of a deep moat with a large embankment outside it. And it can be circular, it can be square. And in the UK and other parts of Europe, it often contains stone circles, megalithic uh, stone circles as well. But the henge itself is entirely an earthwork. What we find in the Amazon are thousands of henges that are now beginning to emerge from the cleared area of the jungle and others that have been identified for the first time with LIDAR. LIDAR technology is being employed in the Amazon. It's non-destructive. You can see what's under the trees. What is LIDAR? Back, okay. uh, light imaging and detective ra radar. They bounce laser beams down into I the jungle. There's a whole the pattern right of them. You need helicopters, and they, the they, but it doesn't damage the rainforest. Mm. And you can strip away and see what's, see what's there. If, if this isn't too much of a diversion, let me give you the example of uh, Guatemala. Guatemala is a small country, if I remember correctly. It's not much more than 100,000 square kilometers in size. Oh, damn, you're bored. Yeah. You made me watch this. Should we play, like, Mario Kart or something? Can we do that? You want to play Mario Kart? Yeah. Are you good at Mario Kart? No. 